an envoy of Vegas, yet you carry yourself for battle. If so, you cannot truly be of that city of cowards. Many graves in the East are filled with those who said as much, with braver words, not backed by strength. It is Kaiser's will this gate to the West bear the flag of the Legion. Kaiser's will shall be done. I see you fight with words, like all beneath the flag of the bear. Let us hope your skill with weapons proves greater. So you seek quarter? Terms of surrender? Our roads into NCR are hung with the bodies of those who attempted to negotiate with us. Save your speeches. We will take Hoover Dam and move forward until our feet crush the setting sun beneath them. Hoover Dam has never seen the mass strength of the East. Only legates such as Graham, who deserved the fire Kaiser blessed him with. Now I am here, and make markers of your people as the Legion carves its way west. You speak in circles. What of the East? I am the East, and I will prove it this day. The victory here shall be swift. Our forces shall take the dam, secure it, then build a road west on the bodies of the NCR. The East will hold. Once across the Colorado, nothing to rival Hoover Dam remains. Your weakness? You seek to thwart me by claiming the Legion is too strong for you? That does not mean we would not succeed. The East was a hard-fought campaign. Even now, Kaiser drew too much of the Legion's blood needed there for... this. Hoover Dam is but a place. I will not have it be the gravestone of the Legion, whether quickly, or as you describe, slowly, by attrition. As for wisdom, there is wisdom in your words, man of the West. Know that I shall return east. I shall not remain there forever. On that day, the strength of the bear shall be tested. If the West is one day filled with ones such as you, perhaps it shall be a worthy fight indeed. Hmm. My coming would have saved you. Set your people free in ways they cannot see. War would have tested them, broken the weak with its violence, yet allowing the strong to arise. Violence gave you that strength, awakened you. I can see it upon your face, where two bullets left their mark. Perhaps it is unfortunate Woolpex was not here to hear your words. Something tells me you would prove more than his match. Until the day when our armies meet again, Courier. I shall wait for you on the battlefield. Caesar on the cross. Been a long time since I've seen the kind of work you've laid down today. A damn long time. And the screams of those Legion bastards as they kick dirt running east like a choir of angels to my ears. Speaking of, that crazy light show over the fort? What the fuck was that? Some kind of thumb of God you called down? Amazing. Fucking amazing. Could use a hundred of you. Just scatter you over the east like jacks. Give those plum fucks the what for.
And, um, well, <laughs> these, uh, these boys with you? <laughs> Hello there, Smiley. Guess it ain't no secret how you, uh, I say, can you ask them to put their weapons down? Was just reaching in my coat to give you a cigar. I would sooner spit on the grave of my dead mother than let some courier walk the wasteland fuck talk to me like that. Who the hell do you think you are? Looking to cash your chips to the sound of NCR bullets, huh? I can oblige. Look, I know you're riding high right now, but let me tell you, you ain't pissing on me right now. You're pissing on the bear. You've been far enough west, I'm guessing, to know how far that claw stretches. Fuck with the bear and... You want me to make tracks out of here? Head back west? Tail between our legs? No. I came for a fight today. And if you're looking to make me budge, you better have a damn good left hook or I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. But I wasn't expecting a fight when I came up here. And now that we're talking, I don't like the sound of things. Do you know what you're doing? Making a nation like you think you're doing ain't like chowing down on a pile of fancy lad snack cakes. Think you got the guts to carve out a frontier? Build towns, protect the roads, run supplies, train troops? <sighs> Hell. Can't believe we got suckered by some road jockey. Should have watched the flank while Caesar's best was making all that noise. I know what those robots of yours can do on a bad day, and I'm not eager to toss lies at them just to make a point. But if you're taking this place, you better hope you can hold it. I'll give my superiors my opinion, but I don't think they're going to listen. So if NCR comes at you, and it will, pray you're ready. I promise you, our situation's reversed, I'd see you hang. What the hell? No, get away from me, you goddamn TV on wheels. You did a super job wrapping things up, and I'm not just saying that because I have to. I didn't want to make a big deal about this until after we won, but... Well, I found some code snippets in one of Mr. House's data banks that will let me, um, reprogram my personality. To be a little more assertive, basically. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And it's going to take me a while, so it'll seem like I'm offline. But don't worry, everything will be okay. I've updated the Securitron's targeting parameters, so they know what to do. Vegas will be protected. So that's where I'll be off making a few changes, and I... I guess I'll see you around. We accomplished a lot together. It was fun. Take care! And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The courier, with the aid of Yes Man, drove both the Legion and the NCR from Hoover Dam, securing New Vegas's independence from both factions. With Mr. House out of the picture, part of the Securitron army was diverted to the Strip to keep order. Any chaos on the streets was ended. Quickly. Chaos became uncertainty, then acceptance with minimal loss of life. New Vegas assumed its position as an independent power in the Mojave. Supporting the ideals of independence, the courier was recognized as the man responsible for a truly free New Vegas. He ensured Mr. House's tyranny was broken, and neither Caesar's Legion nor NCR would ever gain control over New Vegas. Though the wasteland became anarchic after Hoover Dam, the boomer's display of power dissuaded fortune seekers from attempting to penetrate Nellis. 
After the courier ensured New Vegas remained free, the followers found that independent Vegas was even more unstable and violent than before. Old Mormon Fort became excessively burdened by the influx of patients, struggling to provide even the most basic of services. With New Vegas's independence formally declared, Good Springs thrived. More travelers stopped by Good Springs on their way to and from the Strip, and the locals grew prosperous from the traffic. In the years following the destruction of Cassidy Caravans, NCR used evidence of the plot to blackmail the Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs. NCR enacted strict trade laws with little resistance, strengthening their supply lines and their position in the Mojave. Cass lived to see the courier bring down three armies, and by her count, that was three more than she'd expected. She kept quiet about that, though. The kings retained their control of Freeside, and while they continued to favor the needs of locals, they tolerated the citizens of the defeated NCR. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. The NCR, battered by the loss of the dam, were unable to devote any troops to retaking the correctional facility from the powder gangers. As a result, Powder ganger raids on caravans became an unfortunate fact of life in the Mojave for years to come. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. Despite NCR's pledge to support Prim, they abandoned the town after their loss to the courier. Independent again, Prim operates much as it had before the powder gangs arrived, full of ups and downs. And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. <laughs>